then payments will be accepted only in gold, not dollars or rupees. Now, to be clear, Zoltan Pozar is not stating a fact here. He is speculating, and that must be kept in mind. Now, he understands that this seems a little bit far-fetched. This is nonsense, you say, he continues. No, it is not nonsense, he says. Look at the tit-for-tat measures so far. You invade Ukraine. I freeze your foreign exchange reserves. You freeze my foreign exchange reserves. I make you pay for gas in rubles. The West boycotts my euros. I'll ship it east to China and India, which is buying them. The West caps the price of euros to try to stem the flow of income into Russia. Let them, but I'll make them pay in gold. The cap of $60 per barrel, which Europe and the United States are seeking to impose on Russian oil, artificially, administratively, equals the price of a gram of gold at current market prices. Let's imagine this set up as a peg. The G7 led by the US effectively pegs the US dollar to euros at $60 per barrel. In turn, the Russia, Russia pegs euros to gold at the same price, a gram of gold for a barrel of euros. And then what Pozar says is that Russia could offer more oil in exchange for paying in gold terms rather than in dollar terms. Objections to this have come up on Twitter and they make sense. Why would Putin try to pay in gold and give double the amount of oil when he can just sell half the amount of oil in dollars and then buy his own gold with dollars? The answer is it's very difficult for Russia to buy anything with dollars these days because of the international sanctions. So. By putting sanctions on the dollar itself, the dollar becomes devalued for Russia because they can't use it to buy stuff. So that gives Putin an incentive to take payment for oil in gold terms instead. And now if he takes, for example, two barrels of oil, he sells two barrels of oil in exchange for one gram of gold, that means that people on the international exchange sell their dollars to buy gold, to buy oil, Russian oil, at half the price and that changes the arbitrage between dollar and gold and doubles gold prices in dollar terms. By doing this, Putin can collapse the US dollar in gold terms and by doing that he collapses the dollar against everything because as I have said over and over and over again, the only thing that gives the dollar value to exchange in terms of anything is the fact that it can be exchanged for gold. So if you lower the dollar's exchange value in gold terms, you lower its purchasing power in terms of everything. If Putin understands this, this is what he will do, and he'll be able to destroy the dollar's purchasing power on the international markets and also for consumers in the US markets and everyone else who holds dollars around the world. And so Pozar says this in his own words, that in order to maintain futures positions, short futures positions on the COMEX, gold cannot be used as a money. Now, there is no guarantee that Putin is actually going to do this. But eventually, someone, somewhere, on this green earth is going to pull the rug out from under the dollar. And the rug that is under the dollar currently is a rug of gold. And when gold goes up, the public goes after what? Of course, silver.